Hi friends, in this session I'm going to show you the roles and responsibilities of an ETL developer. So the first common task that we see in real time is extracts or reports generation. What is extract generation? So extract generation is nothing but let's say we have received a task from my manager asking few details from my database. So I wrote this query and I get this result set after running this query. I need to deliver him this report on a monthly basis. So for the first time I can send him this report manually by copy paste this data into a text file and, and but to do this automation we have to design a solution. That's where we can use SSIS to design this kind of package and we deploy into SQL Server agent to automate to trigger based on our time frame so that it automatically delivers that report to our specified recipients. So this is a very common task that we see in real time. This is part of extract generation. But in real time, we will not see this simple uh, extracts. For example, let's say, let me take an example. Let's say who is XMLAPI.com. This company provides daily feeds on domain name registrations. So the files looks like this. They are uploading in a zip format for their clients. So this means they are not maintaining this, these files in this format at their end. They maintain this information in a database, but for their clients, they fetch information on a daily or weekly basis and they generates as a CSV format or whatever format they want. So, and another example for this kind of extract generation is financial company. In any financial company, they have to send audit information to government security compliance teams. So in that scenario as well, we design packages, SSIS or ETL packages to deliver extract files to their end users. So this is one example of extracts generation. And another task is reports generation. So what's the difference between extract and reports? Extract means a simple file based report without much design or without any designs it will be a simple file based extract like text file tsv file t text file like that but whereas reports generation means using api calls provided by the reporting platforms like power bi ssrs tableau we can use ssis to export their reports into a Excel file or PDF format. The use case for this type of task is pre-validations, pre-processing, pre-condition checks. SSIS is not only an ETL tool. SSIS or any other ETL designers can be used to define workflow automation. That means we can include any step before and after whatever we want. We can implement that in SSIS solution. These are the main common tasks like extracts or reports generation in real time. And one more thing I want to tell you here is extracts and reports generation based out of source systems. Source systems could be a data warehouse, could be OLTP databases, could be or Excels or Access TV or any other heterogeneous sources. We need to connect all these and we need to write a query or in whatever way it's possible based on our real time scenario we have to design our SSIS package and we need to generate those extract files as per our requirement.